Welcome back to the Disruptive Technologies Podcast. Today is January 24th, 2024. And today we're diving into a series of compelling stories that demonstrate the dynamic interplay of technology, regulation, and market forces. We'll start with Meta's clandestine digital currency pursuits under Maxine Waters' watchful eye. Then we'll pivot to the SEC's recent cybersecurity lapse. We'll explore JP Morgan's cautious stance on Coinbase amidst the fluctuating crypto market followed by Taurus's groundbreaking move in tokenized securities. We also cover the U.S. Air Force's quantum leap into computing for logistics, and finally dive into the disturbing rise of AI deepfakes in politics. Stay tuned as we dissect these developments, providing insights and analysis on the broader implications. Meta Platforms is currently under the scrutiny of one Congresswoman Maxine Waters. Despite previous setbacks and assurances of halted progress in digital currency, Meta appears to be quietly advancing its involvement in the digital assets industry. This follows Waters' inquiry into Meta's recent actions concerning cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. Central to Waters' concerns are five trademark applications filed by Meta with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. These applications encompass a range of services, from social networking to cryptocurrency trading, hinting at Meta's continued interest in integrating digital currencies into their platforms. This move is a surprise given Meta's previous communication with the Financial Services Committee, which indicated a cessation of all digital asset-related endeavors. Meta's journey into digital currency has been fraught with regulatory hurdles. Their initial attempt was the Libra slash DM project in 2019, which was met with significant pushback from regulators and lawmakers, including Waters. The project aimed to introduce a stablecoin tied to the company. This raised concerns over privacy, security, and the potential for widespread financial disruption. Despite its eventual dissolution and sale to Silvergate Bank, Meta's current activities suggest a renewed, albeit discreet, interest in the digital currency landscape. In her letter to Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg and COO Javier Olivon, Waters seeks clarity on the company's intentions and plans concerning digital currencies. She asked explicitly about the apparent contradiction between Meta's previous communications and their ongoing trademark applications. Water's focus is not just on the nature of these projects, but also on the broader implications in the absence of a comprehensive federal framework for digital asset regulation. Water's scrutiny of Meta is part of a larger narrative concerning big tech's foray into the digital currency sector. Her previous inquiries into companies like PayPal demonstrate a growing concern among regulators over the unchecked expansion of major technology firms in the financial domain. The lack of a solid regulatory framework further complicates these ventures, posing questions about consumer protection, privacy, and the overall stability of the financial system. Some might ask if Waters and the rest of Congress aren't actually part of the problem. This situation highlights the tension between technological innovation and regulatory oversight. While companies like Meta seek to expand and innovate in the digital currency space, they face significant challenges from regulators and lawmakers who are concerned about the potential risks and impacts of these technologies. This ongoing debate underscores the need for a balanced approach that fosters innovation while ensuring consumer protection and financial stability. Now, while we're on the topic of government and digital currencies, let's pivot to a startling revelation in financial regulation. How secure do you think our regulatory bodies are in safeguarding sensitive financial information? Here's a hint, not very. In a striking display of vulnerability at the heart of financial regulation, the U.S. Securities Exchange Commission recently fell prey to a cybersecurity breach. This incident involved a SIM swap attack. This ultimately and embarrassingly led to a false announcement on the SEC social media account about the approval of spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds. The breach was traced back to a lapse in the SEC's security protocol. Notably, the multi-factor authentication on their account had been disabled since July 2023. This followed a request by an SEC staff member due to access issues. This deactivation of an essential security layer left the account susceptible to unauthorized access. On January 9th, an attacker capitalized on this vulnerability. By executing a SIM swap attack, they gained control of an SEC cell phone number associated with the account. This technique involves transferring a phone number to a new device without the original user's consent. With control over the phone number, the attacker reset the password for the SEC social media account and posted the false information about Bitcoin ETFs. This incident not only caused confusion and misinformation in the market, it also raised serious questions about the SEC's internal cybersecurity measures. It's ironic that the SEC, an entity that frequently advises investors on the importance of robust security practices, failed to maintain basic security protocols for its own digital assets. The aftermath of the breach saw the SEC reactivating multi-factor authentication. 
The financial watchdogs are reportedly collaborating with various law enforcement agencies, including the FBI and the Department of Justice, to investigate the incident. However, the damage was already done. The false post had a temporary impact on the market, demonstrating the significance of influence of regulatory announcements on the cryptocurrency markets. This event serves as a stark reminder of the ongoing challenges in digital security, especially in sectors as sensitive as financial regulation. It underscores the need for constant vigilance and robust security protocols to safeguard the increasingly sophisticated cyber threats. Now, to me, this incident also highlights the risks of centralized control and the importance of decentralized systems in enhancing security and reducing reliance on single points of failure. From this eye-opening episode at the SEC, we turn to the fluctuating crypto market and its ripple effects. Have you considered how these market changes impact major players like Coinbase and their stance on regulatory measures? JP Morgan downgraded the stock of Coinbase to an underweight rating. This decision was influenced by the falling price of Bitcoin, which dipped below $40,000, and the introduction of spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds. JP Morgan analysts expressed skepticism about the market's high expectations for these ETFs, foreseeing a potential disappointment that could lead to lower token prices and trading volumes, adversely impacting Coinbase's revenue streams. Despite recognizing Coinbase as a dominant player in the U.S. crypto ecosystem, JP Morgan maintained a conservative price target of $80 for Coinbase stock by December 2024. On another front, Coinbase is challenging the U.S. Treasury Department's proposed rules on cryptocurrency mixing. Coinbase argues that these rules, which demand extensive data reporting on all crypto mixing activities, fail to address regulatory gaps sufficiently. They believe that such broad reporting requirements would lead to an overwhelming amount of non-suspicious transaction reports, thereby wasting resources. Paul Gruel, Coinbase's chief legal officer, advocates for a more targeted approach, suggesting that Treasury should focus on helping exchanges meet existing obligations to report suspicious activities involving mixing. Coinbase recommends that FinCEN should consider setting a threshold to avoid bulk reporting of minor transactions and prioritize record keeping over reporting to mitigate privacy and security risks. These developments reflect the ongoing struggle in the crypto world, where traditional financial institutions like JP Morgan are cautious and conservative in their outlook towards cryptocurrencies, while platforms like Coinbase are actively pushing back against regulatory measures they perceive as overreaching. This dynamic underscores the broader debate on the balance between regulation and innovation in the cryptocurrency sector. Shifting from the volatility of crypto markets, let's explore an exciting frontier in digital asset innovation. Remember, if you're finding this journey through disruptive technologies insightful, make sure to like, follow, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest episodes. Now, how do you think tokenization will reshape our approach to investing? Taurus is a Swiss fintech firm backed by Deutsche Bank. They received regulatory approval from Switzerland's Financial Market Supervisory Authority to offer tokenized securities to retail clients. This move marks a pivotal shift, allowing retail users alongside institutional clients to access a broader range of digital assets and tokenized securities. Taurus's TDX trading marketplace for tokenized assets was previously limited to professional and institutional clients. That marketplace is now open to retail investors, facilitating participation in capital raises and secure, compliant trading of digital assets. This approval is a game changer for the digital securities market, enhancing liquidity and providing both retail and professional investors with access to primary and secondary markets. Companies can now establish their own trading segments and tailor liquidity options, promoting efficient capital raising and real-time management of digital securities. Taurus's platform supports a variety of digital assets, including cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and digital currencies, reflecting a growing demand for real-world asset tokenization. Concurrently, the Bank for International Settlements Innovation Hub has announced a new blockchain-based tokenization project, Project Promisa. The BIS worked on this in collaboration with the Swiss National Bank and the World Bank. The project aims to develop a platform for digital tokenized promissory notes, enhancing their management and transparency. Promissory notes are traditionally paper-based and a crucial part of the financial system. They will be revolutionized by this initiative with a proof of concept expected by early 2025. Additionally, the BIS Innovation Hub is continuing its Project Orum, focusing on the privacy of payments in retail central bank digital currencies. This project, a collaboration with the Hong Kong Monetary Authority, aims to advance understanding of privacy in CDBC systems, researching and developing tokens that operate within an interbank system. These developments signify a major leap forward in the digital asset and blockchain space. Taurus's expansion into retail tokenized asset trading and the BIS's innovative projects in tokenization and CDBC privacy 
underscore the growing integration of blockchain technology into mainstream finance. They represent a strike towards a more inclusive and transparent financial ecosystem. As these technologies evolve, they offer a promising avenue for individuals and institutions alike to engage with digital assets in a secure and regulated environment. As we marvel at the achievements in tokenization, let's not forget the quantum leaps being made in technology. How do you think quantum computing will revolutionize our current systems? The United States Air Force has made great strides in the field of quantum computing and quantum technology. They recently embarked on a groundbreaking journey by partnering with Quantum Research Science in a $2.5 million to develop quantum computing software for logistics. Now, this is quite the shift from traditional binary computing systems to quantum computing systems in military logistics. Binary computers have been the backbone of logistical operations. That said, they are limited in handling complex variables, often leading to less accurate supply chain forecasts. Quantum computers, however, operate on qubits that can exist in multiple states simultaneously, allowing for the handling of more variables and enhancing both speed and accuracy. The potential of quantum computing extends beyond logistics. Experts predict that quantum computing systems capable of breaking RSA encryption could emerge soon. This poses a significant threat to data security worldwide, but also opens doors to quantum safe encryption solutions. Companies like Sandbox AQ are already working towards developing such technologies. They're taking a proactive approach to the impending quantum decryption threat. Furthermore, quantum sensing is another facet of quantum technology. It shows promise in enhancing GPS systems and medical applications. These sensors could potentially provide deeper, more accurate real-time scans of the body and the brain. They can also aid in the development of fully autonomous robotics. The implications of these advancements in quantum computing and technology are profound. They represent a leap towards more efficient, secure, and advanced systems in both military and civilian sectors. As we edge closer to realizing the full potential of quantum computing, it's crucial to stay informed and prepared for the changes that it will bring to our digital and logistical landscapes. Concluding our journey through technological revolutions, we face a pressing challenge in the digital realm, the rise of AI deepfakes and politics. Have you encountered a deepfake in the wild? When it comes to modern politics, the emergence of AI-generated deepfakes presents a significant challenge to the integrity of democratic processes. Recently, two notable instances have highlighted the potential for misuse of this technology in the political landscape. Firstly, in Harlem, New York, a deepfake audio clip was circulated, falsely portraying Manhattan Democratic boss Keith Wright making derogatory comments about Assemblymember Inez Dickens. This AI-generated audio was shared among Harlem political circles. It was initially convincing to some, despite Wright's denial and condemnation of the clip as a divisive tool. Simultaneously, in New Hampshire, voters received robocalls, allegedly from President Joe Biden, urging them not to participate in the primary elections. This deepfake audio was designed to mislead and manipulate voters, representing a direct attack on the electoral process. These incidents underscore the growing threat of AI deepfakes in politics. They demonstrate how easily AI can fabricate credible-sounding audio, sowing discord and confusion among the public and within political circles. The use of such technology for nefarious purposes raises serious concerns about the ability to distinguish between real and fake content, potentially undermining trust in public figures in the media. Moreover, these events highlight the lack of preparedness and effective countermeasures against AI deepfakes. There are currently no universal methods for detecting these fakes. This leaves individuals and institutions vulnerable to misinformation. This vulnerability is particularly concerning in the context of elections where integrity and reliability of information are paramount. The incidents in Harlem and New Hampshire are stark reminders of the disruptive potential of AI deepfakes in politics. They call for increased awareness and better technological safeguards to preserve the sanctity of democratic processes in the age of advanced artificial intelligence. So, what happened? Meta's exploration into digital currencies drew scrutiny from Congressman Waters, spotlighting the tension between big tech and regulatory oversight. The SEC's cybersecurity breach via a SIM swap attack underscored the challenges in safeguarding sensitive financial information. JP Morgan's downgrade of Coinbase reflected the ongoing volatility and regulatory complexities within the cryptocurrency market. Taurus's regulatory approval for tokenized securities marked a significant step in digital asset innovation, coupled with the Project Promisa and Project Orem initiatives. The Air Force's investment in quantum computing with quantum research science signaled a major shift in technological and military capabilities. The emergence of AI deepfakes in politics, as seen in Harlem and New Hampshire, raises alarming questions about the integrity of democratic processes. Together, these stories weave a narrative of a world at the crossroads of a digital transformation. 
As nations, corporations, and individuals navigate this terrain, the balance between embracing technological innovation and enhancing security and ethical integrity remains a paramount challenge. We'll see you next time as we cast a discerning eye on technology.